let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vion this hour, where French President Emmanuel Macron has said that the Belarusian leader, Alexander Lukashenko, must step down. In an interview, Macron said that Lukashenko is actually pretty authoritarian and is hanging on by force. This is what Macron claims. Now, Macron has further added that he was pretty impressed by the courage shown by the Belarusian protesters who have been taking to the streets since the disputed 9th of August elections. Meanwhile, Sweden has also condemned Lukashenko at the United Nations General Assembly, saying that the situation in Belarus was actually pretty alarming. Sweden is alarmed of the situation in Belarus following the election on August 9th, which were neither free nor fair. Now, Belarus has accused the Western nations of trying to create more chaos and anarchy in the nation. Addressing the UNGA, Belarusian Foreign Minister Vladimir Mikhail said that there were attempts that were being done by these Western nations to try and destabilize Belarus. Напомню, в августе этого года на выборах президента Республики Беларусь народ сделал свой выбор. Выбор в пользу стабильного и процветающего государства. Выбор в пользу мира и добрососедства. Выбор в пользу устойчивого развития. Однако вместо того, чтобы уважать этот выбор, мы видим устремление раскачать ситуацию в стране. После неудавшейся попытки навязать нам цветную революцию, мы испытываем внешнее вмешательство, направленное на подрыв государственного строя. Отдельное, граничащее с цинизмом заявление со стороны ряда наших западных соседей о якобы заботе о суверенитете Беларуси и ее благосостоянии на самом деле являются ничем иным, как попытками вернуть страну в хаос и анархию, которые отбросят Беларусь в ее развитии на многие годы назад. Now, all of this, of course, is happening in the backdrop of European Union having refused to recognize Lukashenko as the legitimate ruler of the former Soviet Union nation. Meanwhile, protests continue in Belarus. Security forces were seen detaining several women protesters at a rally in the capital city of Minsk. The security forces were seen handling, or rather manhandling, veteran activist Nina Baginskaya. They snatched the Belarusian flag from the 73-year-old protester before detaining her. Не чапай, зараза! Не чапай! Зараза ты! Не надо, не надо! Что ты делаешь?